Hello and welcome back to Europa Universus 4. I am Lord Forman, here playing as the mighty revolutionary Italy. Uh, so I want to briefly apologize for not having any videos come out in the last few days. Uh, I've been rather busy, um, but and I wanted to do a good job, so I don't want to rush this because um, we've got roughly about 30 years of gameplay, and I really want to try and get Rome. So, uh, between episodes, I did a couple little things. Uh, I raised some more. I got more troops. Sorry, not tr troops. Ships uh, being created. Um, so, hopefully that will help. Uh, I also created a transport fleet. Because I'm going to have to hit the, hit the British with pretty much everything all at once. And I improved one of our trade companies um, with some money. We are going to likely fall into some immense level of um, debt over the course of this ending part. Um, we got one now. Uh, that'll change once we get overextension lower. Um, then we'll actually get trade income. Uh, but we are going roughly 100, 200 over our naval force limit, roughly. Um, once everything is created, which obviously is going to take some time. Um, on the other hand, things are getting cored and going. As you can see, as things become more cored, our income is steadily rising. Um, <laughs> I say that as it goes down. Uh, it's because all the ships are finally coming onto the field. Um, we are going to be able to fight a war with Spain in November of next year. So it's probably worth positioning some troops. Um, we also should probably remove this army back from the Caribbean once we take out this last island. Good thing I looked. I forgot all about that. Um, so yes, we have a colonial nation. How exciting. Um, it's actually already fielding troops, which is hilarious. And we can, in fact, do a government reform. I'm going to do clergy and then I can take a policy I'm thinking hmm I'm not too happy with any of these I might take the spy discovery act for the corruption reduction on the other hand the land inheritance for the tax and manpower would be really nice you know what? let's do that I don't know if that'll make me enough money to you know get it anywhere. Oh, 30 gold, roughly. Pretty good. Um, can I help Cuba with converting? I'm just thinking it would probably be a good idea to get Cuba safely converted before I rush off to do stuff elsewhere. Um, because otherwise they're probably going to be facing endless rebellions. They still probably will be suffering endless rebellions, but this should help a bit. And less than a year. The question really will become uh, how many allies does Spain end up with? Right now they're only allied to Austria. They are fighting a war with Kot or Kotzi, Kot, Bengal, and Midribari. Um, take the monarch power. Wants me to go after Wallachia. Interesting. We'll notice that the Ottomans have been <laughs> kicked out of quite a bit of their uh, European remaining land by apparently the Poles, I'd say. Yeah, Poland kicked them out. Way to go, Poland. Bit of a uh, comeback kid in Europe. Might ally myself to them in retrospect. They don't, they've got, you know, 60,000 troops, which is a nice number. Got terrible monarch, though. <laughs> 2 one, one for the 2 zero, one air. Wow. Kind of feel sad for them. At least we have a good air. And we have a new consort. Nice. Um, we can't fight Britain until... 82, and obviously we don't want to fight Great Britain 
anytime soon. Not really sure how we're going to break Britain. I think what I'm going to try and do is put all my heavy ships, or at least, you know, 90% of them, in one province, maybe Straits of Dover or something, if I see the British fleet off the coast of Holland, and then try and land most of my troops in Cornwall, or maybe even up here in Scotland might actually be a safer choice. Not sure yet. We'll find out once we get closer. I'll have to do some scouting, roughly. Um, truce expires November, okay. Last time Spain fell ridiculously easy. I don't see that happening this time around, but we will find out. There are quite a few chances of rebellions, but... Again, when once we have a full military force, I don't really see any group that's going to successfully win a revolt versus us. Um... Also, I can get one additional diplomatic re relations, which will be nice. And where is my fleet at, as a matter of fact? I'm pretty sure there's probably something I can upgrade in them. Not much. Oh well, worth a shot. Get Cuba converted, then I'll work on the rest of my other lands. Really could use an increase in supply limit. We also have inferior cannon right now, so that's something to be a little bit wary of. I'm not sure how much land I'm going to be able to take from Spain in this war. I'm hoping it's like half of Spain. Uh, upon which point, uh, we'll probably get to the point where we're going to have to truce break our way through Spain. Um... We shouldn't have to truce break, our way, truce break our way through England if I do it right, because we should be able to simply land, steal both York and uh, London. If I could get the British somehow to leave their arm, lead their army like down here or over here, that would be wonderful. That way, I don't have to fight a very large British military. Really. Just like Napoleon, Revolution Empire, the only one who's a threat is Britain, who we outnumber military-wise 2 to 1. I'm not worried about their colonial nations. Although they did send ships last time, which was rather interesting. I don't think I've really ever had to deal with ships from a colonial nation before. Uh, I probably should occupy these provinces before they escape, huh? Hamburg up here is meanwhile dealing with rebels. <laughs> They're a noble elite now. They've swapped. I think. Not entirely sure. They're more of just a distraction country. I was hoping to feed them land, but that hasn't worked out. Still got so much conversion to do. There we go. War with Spain can begin. Uh, I don't know if it's going to let me do it this month or it's going to say, oh, you've got to do it next month. Oh, Great Britain is defender of the Catholic faith. Lovely. Lovely. Well, it looks like I'm going to get into another fight with England sooner than I expected. And apparently with Austria. Okay. Spain should be relatively easy to overrun. Uh... Should be, of course, being the operative word. Probably won't work out that way, but you never know. Uh, we are going straight for this, the Spanish capital. So, um, uh, nice if they'd actually let me look at some of that stuff. Um, coalition will form a little bit versus me. Um, we need to take out... Austria. Not that Austria is a threat, but it's better off to wipe them out now than later. Uh, that fort's falling, that fort's falling, this fort will fall reasonably fast as well. Because despite being a military powerhouse, 
usual if they're played properly the AI never does I'm gonna need more troops to kill that rebel stack aren't I interesting uh, let's go occupy England's two provinces unfortunately we won't be able to attack England now because we'll have just been at war with them but that's why truce breaking exists right really our major concern is breaking Spain the rat Breaking England itself can wait a while. They're not as big of a uh, rush, because I don't have to take tons of land from them. I just have to kick them out of uh, York and London. Whoa. That is ridiculous. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to be able to take 90% of Spain. <laughs> Okay, I guess Napoleon did something similar, right? The ton of land. If I probably up my absolutism, I could probably take even more. Come on, forts fall. Actually, I might barrage Austria's. There we go. Okay, we've won that fort. Time to sweep through the Pyrenees. Battle of the Ionian Sea. Oh, lovely. Um, didn't particularly want that to occur. Hunt enemy fleets, Mediterranean fleets. I'll put an admiral in charge, even though that's going to cost me a bit more military power. Is in a lot more military power. Oh yeah, so then I have to remember to steal that one silly province from Ethiopia. Lovely, lovely, lovely. lovely. Uh, I could call Ethiopia to the war. I think I will, actually. They might draw off some of the British troops. There we go. Another fort fallen. And we can move... To Madrid. Try and take them out. I'm not going to even attempt the naval invasion of England here. Not with, you know, 194 British heavy ships sitting off the coast of Holland. Nice that they get obsessed with uh, taking Holland, though. There we go. Madrid has fallen. Uh, I should probably try and go back and take, save... Lisbon. Oh, we're trading in cotton as if we needed uh, more settlers. Okay, time to finish off this area. If I can actually select this army. There we go. That was weird. It was unclickable for a moment there. Hopefully my troops will save Lisbon from falling. Looks like they will. Again, my morale is disgusting compared to Spain's. My uh, discipline's pretty good as well. More people joining a coalition versus me. What a surprise. Ooh, I could muster 18 more troops. I don't think it's worth it. There's no point in taking this acquire subject one. I'm not bothering. Um, probably actually help that army. There we go. Got in a little over my head there. Spain has rebuilt its military since the last war. Like they're trying to take back their capital. Oh, 
interesting pathing. Go help them if you can. No, 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 no. Not that. Where can I put this army where it's not going to keep losing troops? There we go. Another relatively easy victory. There we go. 71% chance of the fort falling. It finally does. Okay, Battle Madrid is over. That's a stacked wipe Spanish army. Probably send some reinforcements. Another stack wipe Spanish army. Wow. I mean, they are being attacked from all sides now. There is no safe place to hide. Still a bit ridiculous, though. And the AI literally moved in three troops to stop me from crossing Gibraltar. It's apparently letting me move through Gibraltar would be wrong. Theodora, 20 ships. Interesting. Austria is still not letting that fort fall. A lot of defense. Out of defense. There we go. Valencia has fallen. Oh, I don't know how I'm supposed to get rid of the fact that England is just always now going to be defender of the Catholic faith. It's going to be pretty annoying to deal with. No, no, no. Stop trying to make a crossing you can't make. We're actually going to lose that fight, aren't we? Okay, pull back. I'll give that to them. I did attack them on a mountain range. We also need to remember to take Malta, because I keep forgetting to take Malta. I don't really know why Spain did this attack. They should lose this. Yeah. It was a bit of a dumb move. I don't think I'm going to get as high a war score as I hope to, so I might not be able to take all that land. Uh, we can get another. 25 ticking war score. Wow. Um, not bad. I'll leave them. If I have to leave them land, I'd like to leave them internal land where they can't have a fleet. Spain is fleeing Spain to North Africa. Well, eventually we're going to have a non-Spanish Spain, which is pretty good. Oh, that Austria fort. Just fall already. I need to go to squash some rebels in the Middle East. Syrian separatists. There we go. Austria's fort has fallen. I could have, you know, stolen more land from them, but at this point I want to save the monarch points. Um, looks like Ethiopia is actually doing a pretty good job of occupying things for me. At least in the eastern half of my empire. Uh, 
Our navies are slowly getting some more experience. We've killed quite a few ships, I think. We actually have more heavy ships than the enemy does. Of course, it's Great Britain, so... It doesn't help much. But that's the way it goes. Um, I don't think there's anyone else I can piece out. Yeah, maybe Theodoro. Um, don't have military access there. I could just use my feet. I can't imagine Theodoro has a very large army. In fact, I can't imagine Theodoro has much of an army at all. Yeah, 6,000. I'll hit him with 30,000. The more people I can piece out of the war against Spain, probably the better. I think that'll give me more war score. I'll have to double check. Of course, once Granada falls, then we'll swiftly overrun the rest of this area. What a 2% more score. Not even halfway to what I need. Ugh. Maybe just occupying Theodore. I'm not sure yet. There's no particular reason for me to keep Theodora around. I don't also really want to get too close to Russia if I can help it. Um, I do control Azov. I do have claims on some of the Russian lands. The last thing I want is a war with Russia though. I'd win it. Almost inevitably, but wouldn't be worth it. Come on. You can land. Let's go. Reoccupy that if you would. My armies have a much better supply limit in France, so I'm just going to move them all back into France for now. Okay, Theodora should fall almost immediately. I think I'll just piece them out. I think overall that'll give me a better war score. Oh, they're, in a, they're a vassal of Spain. Awesome. That makes my life a lot easier. I don't have to deal with that mess then. Okay, hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean, if you would. Because Britain is being very intelligent and not actually sending their fleet into the Mediterranean. In a staggering display of competency, I'm surprised to see. Also, it looks like Ethiopia is beating up people abroad. and The British are losing versus the Congo. No, they're winning versus the Congo, but not by much. Chance you'll just want peace. No. Long way to go. Long way to go. Although we're almost, we're a little almost halfway here. We know for a fact if we take all that land, we should be able to finish them off in another war. Just a matter, obviously, of the next war. I actually, I'm gonna actually stop this here. I was gonna go to the end of the war, but. That is quite a ways away. So uh, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, it's been fun. I'm glad to get back to recording Europa after being away from it for quite a while. And uh, we're still on track to form Rome. Uh, the obvious issue will be fighting the British fleet. But I think if I put 300, 400 heavy ships in the Straits of Dover, even the British Navy will take some time smashing through it, which should give me time to land. I'm thinking I might go up here for like Sutherland and stuff, have the ships in position when the time comes. Um, the other option is I just invade right here, but 
the AI tends to leave their troops in the capital, so we'll see. Anyhow, thank you guys all for watching. Um, bye for now.